Yo, it's Rogue, and uh, we're going to be looking at my week one demo from Kids Next Door. Finally, uh, we, we made it, and I'm up here playing with a lot of the greats, and I'm getting my sort of trial by fire by playing with these seasoned, seasoned callers, especially with Demento calling on Spy and Jarrett calling on Demo. Plus, I'm with Syath, who's so great at playing the beam and is kind of a medic's best friend sort of scout, so... I wanted to look a little bit better at how my, uh, look a little deeper into how I could play better with managing my beam and my positioning and stuff. I'm not used to with this team that there's a ton of calls all the time compared to my older teams where there was mostly less, way less calls and the calls that were being made were made by me in a lot of cases. So this is uh, something very new for me and we're going to look at how well I coordinate with my team and how well I follow these calls, which are changing by the second. So I'll put the volume back on. And we'll get started. You're going to see one hell of a first hold here. We struggled with this in so different ways with getting redropped and stuff as we're getting the new roster accustomed to this, but... Uh, let's take a look here. Where you can see Muma's on the top left there, watching for the... Uh, like, holding the sniper off that angle. So I'm able to play actually like very far out and forward, healing Jarrett like this. Like, the soldier can't even really get close to me, and I can sit on Jarrett. For me, this spot continues to be safe as long as the sniper is out by Muma. Now that Muma has to leave and is, you know, the sniper can get in that house on the side, now I can't peek that house on the side anymore and yeah, I back up. I take my time a little bit. That seemed like such a spy. <laughs> So now I'm trying to spy check as best I can. Sometimes the spy would even come from in front of me. Oh, and here they did something very strange where they pushed their like whole team onto the flank. We didn't expect that at all. Like, you see the pirate's even still there, but like Jarrett's looking forward. Now, you know, with half our team looking main and the other half looking on the flank, the soldier just comes from the side and, and forces me. So this is a really bad first force, but I mean, I guess I could have moved back later, but by the time we even got the call that they were on the side, I took a pipe. <laughs> right? That was like, uh, my, uh, as far as I'm concerned, when I found out, like, what the hell? They're this close on the side? Uh, so now we force on first, and their team is able to come right into us in a second. So we're like kind of calling to leave, but everyone is still so healthy, and the cart's still not capped yet. Lingering over here, getting some deep buffs later on while the team is still not on slope yet. So now we have Disad, and normally I would play closer to the dispenser, like around this area, but I'm kind of like moving myself back to the shutter so that I can leave immediately. Spy checking through those doors, really nice. Keeping myself far back, way out of sniper sight lines by hugging this little corner. I'm kind of vulnerable to spy here, but... This is great, actually. And now that we found the spy, I'm actually committing very deep back here, and we're about to get the Uber, too. Oh, someone dropped their med. Looks like Muma had dropped their med, which is amazing. You know, we would have been in a lot of trouble if, if they were faster with using their full Uber add into us. And that's unfortunate that they took so much time. This is great, too. My hustle to go forward and meet the team for these guys who are both hurt and in. Because, like, if there's four of our players that deep, you know, nothing is going to shoot me in, as the fifth one <laughs> you know, all the way in the back. Now, spy checking. Nice finding the spy. Hmm. Now it's times like this, right? All of our team needs a buff and none of them have crit heals. So like, who do I heal? Probably Bor and Syath are the most important, but you know, we don't want to drop Jarrett at any point. Like that's the worst case scenario pretty much. I really want to get Muma the buffs because these guys can always back up to me and like can just stay in safety, but Muma has to fight for the control of the side. So I'm really trying to get more heals to Muma. Hmm. I think, honestly, even more to Bor and, um, Bor and Syaf here would be better. Because Jarrett, I was doing some thinking where, like, since I'm, you know, I've been playing with RJ for so many seasons now, like, I guess years at this point, right, that we have, like, a kind of a, so much chemistry built up between each other, that now going to Jarrett here, I'm kind of off that cycle, right? So, like, I don't exactly know what he's going to do when he doesn't have the beam. And I don't know what he's going to do when he does. And, like, I'm still learning, and he's still learning how long I'm going to give it to him and things like that. So, 
I've been noticing now that, like, if I do keep it off Jarrett now and he's at 170, he'll, like, stay at 170 and just wait for the buff to go back in. But then as soon as I buff him, then he'll start taking this damage, right? So I'm trying to learn a little bit more of our patterns here. So I think I should, like, give, like, Boar a full 185 and give Scythe a full 185, then say, like, okay, and even just even go back between those guys before getting Jarrett and, and communicating to Jarrett, too, that that's what I'm doing. Sniper's dead now, so we have free reign over this entire hill. As we can see, Muma's pretty hurt over here. It would be nice to keep playing deep at Scyath, but losing Mu you know, losing Muma on this side uh, side tunnel is, is awful. Our call was originally to have Zukima stuff their Ubers in the side tunnel, but man, yeah, it sucks when like obviously he has to spend his time spy checking too, so when they're in and doing damage to our players, and Zukima's like all the way in the back there at 20 health. Like if they just happened to get a sticky on him, he would have been totally dead but we needed to stuff it. So, I mean, Jarrett, I at least flash so that they can't do any more damage to him, and he doesn't need any more flashes for the rest of the Uber, right? Okay, so by flashing Jarrett, um, they, like, I stop them from doing any initial damage to him, and he doesn't really need a flash for the rest of the Uber since Zukima's getting the rest. So I think that was pretty good. And then, yeah, kind of sticking on Zukima and body blocking with myself until Zukima got there was a, a nice trade-off between the two of us. So I'm actually really happy with how that Uber went. Now this had but no sniper. So we're kind of cleaning up inside tunnel here. We have a lot of like free reign to do something. So you can see I'm giving some buffs deep to Vanilla Love who's actively taking this fight here. Bringing buffs deep to Saya, but now the sniper's probably back up. I'm getting a tiny bit into the sight line for no reason. So now I'm watching Boar as soon as, literally the second he hits 150, I tap him again, but they had a charge headshot on him, so nothing else to be done there. Like, that time I was keeping Boar and Psyop, like, the most healed. Oh, and now we're calling to use as soon as we get, but... Like, that's one of those times, right? Sias like, just put it on me and use, and Jarrett's, like, just put it on me and use, and both of them are at 30 health, so, like... I kind of at least picked one here, and it was Jarrett. I could have picked one and made it Syath too, but then, yeah, same thing for Jarrett, like, if we're using right away. I am getting to flash him a lot, but, man, is this fucked. Like, we talked about, too, taking Ubers when we're really hurt. Now we finished the Uber, Syath and Jarrett both have, like, 110 HP. Like, really not enough to live this after. Vanilla Love just completely farms their entire team here, though. Like, oh, you see that? Like, freaking four kills, something. And his timing was so perfect. Like, really, even if we dropped one of uh, Syath or Jarrett in that post. Oh, we, uh, no, we did drop Syath in the post. Yeah, so Vanilla Love is like, okay, I'm going to wait, wait. And like, okay, now that I have to step in, I'm going to go and, and win this for our team. Like, he could have come earlier, but then maybe he would have taken the same damage or something. But you know, I, I like that timing a lot. It was great playing with Vanilla Love this week. Again, the sniper is just a, a recent spawner, so got buffs really deep into Boron Syath and now backing up. Hmm. Yeah, like focusing on Boron Syath here. I don't even know if I noticed this. I should be watching Side Tunnel because we just lost Muma to a backstab. I think I didn't notice at first, and now you yeah, know Love has it. I haven't spy checked behind me near the gun for a while. This is an amazing milk. They're just focusing on the gun. We called it. We like didn't even really have to use, but knowing that we would be able to kill the medic pretty much is like, all right, fine. Yeah, we probably could have even killed the medic without using, but I think it's uh, I think it's okay. I do think I remember that being a call. Also, Izukima was hurt, so. Losing him could have been rough. Yeah, I guess that was fine. Again, if it were up to me, I would have milked, but staying super calm, keeping my beam on the right people, even getting ready for me to body block it, but recognizing they weren't shooting me. I'm very happy with that Uber too. And now it's like these guys taking the beam really deep. Such good spaces made. Yeah, now like it would be great to buff 
Muma, but we're calling how aggro we're getting. Oh, because we do have 20% add. I think we had like some kind of call that the medic was... Oh, yeah, Muma kills the med. Great. Yeah, we got a call that the med was close. So we're going pressure, like getting ready to Uber, but Muma just... Man, nails the timing every time. I should have died there. That was a really, really great stab from their spy. Like a great approach, I mean. I don't know. Maybe it came from that rock on the side of the shack. I should have died there. This force, I don't as much agree with. I do believe it was called. And, like, if you're Jarrett and you see their medic so close when we have big ad on them like that, yeah, it was a great thing. But it didn't really have enough chase with just the Mento, you know. Like, if Scyther was alive, that would have been such an amazing play. But I, I think, you know, again, I'm following the call. That's good. I don't know why I'm not backing out here. That was a, some kind of a mistake that I, I didn't leave sooner. Like, yeah, I should have been playing in this spot on the cart path, like kind of trying to hide from Sniper and not go in those small rooms. I should have been doing this 10 seconds earlier. I can't fathom why I didn't. Oh, I, I remember now. I had seen that the soldier went behind that whole, like a while ago. And I was calling like soldier behind, soldiers on third, soldiers waiting for us to back out. And the team's like, oh, this is happening on hill, that's happening on hill. And I'm like, soldiers behind, soldiers still behind. <laughs> And then now we're like finally leaving. I'm like, all right, it's been so long. Like, I mean, I just have to follow the call, right? And then soldier behind. Not that it's even my team's fault, really. Like, there's only, um, yeah, there's, like only so much we can do about the soldier behind. I probably should have, like, I guess, played it a little slower and like been still cognizant of the soldier behind. But I can only yell and scream it so much for so long. So I guess it happens. I mean, it was a really good play from the soldier. I think more than more than my team really making that bad of a mistake. But an arrow. So here we're losing this fight very clearly, but what we try and do is Jared's like, well, they're not in. And I'm like, and he called the sniper somewhere. I, I think maybe someone called snipers rotating. So I'm like, okay, if we can like intimidate them into delaying their push by like a two or three seconds, then, you know, the rest of our team might be able to come in. Yeah, and like the second we lose Jared, it's like, that's it. I'm trying to buff the people who can get in and do the most work. So that's um, Muma for sure. Yeah, this is great. Really deep heals. Spy's dead. Even not Scyth and Boar. I actually should have stopped healing Boar at a time like this and gone back forward. Because Boar was like clearly out of the fight and could resup or get the dispenser or get a small pack or whatever, but Scyth and Jart were still in. So now we're maintaining the aggro angle while Card is so far back. Oh, and we call it the combo so close, so Jared hits the freaking massive pipes onto them. I remember scream like so uh, ecstatic of how huge that pipe was to the rest of our team, but I don't know. I think I saw at the beginning of that Scythe had gone red room and uh, yeah, it's kind of one of those times like if we're trying to kill the medic, I must take Scythe, and I didn't. Even watching this back, it's like I can't, I don't quite see where I missed him, <laughs> you know? Like, I remember seeing him for a second, but he wasn't with me and Jarrett fighting them, so what should I have done differently? It doesn't have to be like I have to break down every one of these little things. Yeah, that, <laughs> that blows, that was my fault. But we're not here to, you know, like, m um, micro every single mini decision of every single life. Like, this should have been this and that. It's just, I think, healthy to note sometimes. Like, all right, well, that could have been better. I don't see an immediate solution, so we'll just keep it in mind for later. Getting, like, super aggro while a bunch of our team is down. Like, yeah, freaking Jacob, Jared, and Jakima all pressuring together. That was great. Now, also knowing, like, we have disad, we have to get really aggro into them and make a lot of stuff happen. Because if we just sit back, then they get to come right into us, you know? So this kind of hustle collapsing on them is, you know, one of those things I'm learning so much by getting to play in Kids Next Door. You get the call to go back. So now that we've... See, like, now, now that our team has gone so far back, now is the time we're like, okay... If they wanted to come in, they could and try and kill me. So it's like, all right, if we're 
before their first point of contact was like Jarrett and whoever else in main, and I'm safe playing in our in that corner spot. Now that these guys have backed up to the corner spot, now I'm with them in being the first point of contact, and I must not die. So I back up here. So per perfect timing, I would say. Super happy to see that, like moving between those two points, because I love so much playing in that forward spot, but I'm, you know, there's a lot of ways in which it's not perfect. Again, over here, though, I did just get back set for no reason. Like, I kind of, I tell my mentees and when I'm doing these talks, like, if you're going to buff those people on top, like, spy check and then start buffing them, and then I just didn't. There, I kind of didn't because Yukima walked behind me, so I took advantage of him doing the spy checking. Oh, look at this Uber. I milk, like, just long enough that an Uber goes from pretty good to amazing, which is, like, one and a half seconds. But I didn't want them to, like, keep doing even just splash damage to these guys. Like, damn. Like, our team's all split up here, right? Like, Vanilla goes to the right. Zakima's fighting them from this spot. Jarrett's going to the left. And now, like, yeah, we had such a good Uber. But then I'm kind of stuck in the middle of all these people. Everyone's all Jarrett dies. Vanilla's going to die. If we just had, like committed to the call like all right all of us now kill them on the right then fine or like all of us ignore the right fight cart now then great so i think this is just miscommunication from our team i really thought that uh vanilla love was gonna get a frag there not his fault obviously but like i thought they were more hurt so i, I could have sworn that if i stayed there with him i'd at least get a kill whereas zukima and whoever else are gonna stay alive by the dispenser You know, I don't want to back out too far and bait my team into losing the round. I don't want to go so close that I die before en literally anybody else. Buffing Vanilla Love enough that he can get take fights really deep, but then backing off because there's nothing else I can contribute. Again, demo's down, sniper's down, heals so deep into this. The only thing that can get me is Spy. <laughs> I could have sworn I was about to get stair stabbed there. I, like. I did try and like walk backward at the last second, hoping that like if it was a spy, they would like miss their timing because my movement was a bit different, but knowing how backstabs work, I probably would have died anyway. Now you can see like slow, like sweeping spy checks here. That would happen a lot on MCM where, like, I would, like, spy check very briefly, and sometimes I would even, like, whip past the spy who was starting their decloak and then not notice. Oh, now there's 15 seconds, so we called to take the Uber into them, and look at this fucking cleanup. Saving Jacob, too, on defense, like, to have our spy alive with the with his comms makes a huge difference. I'm, uh, you know, I haven't ever played with the spy like this, where he does a lot of the calling from the flank. Like, he was the one who orchestrated that whole thing where it's like, okay, we have to take the Uber into them. There's 16 seconds left, so, um, he's, like, kind of pinching them with us. Our flankers, like, Mooma and Syath nail it with their, their flashes and taking it deep. Everyone else are coming and spamming them from Main, Jarrett, Vanilla, Love, whoever. Cool. Uh, so let's see. I mean, there were a couple, some of these Ubers were, like, a little weird where, again, like, I sort of, like, missed one or two guys on the get-go with, like, Syath and stuff. Some of them we had where we were too hurt going into it, and then our post was all kinds of scuffed. Um, some of them... What was that last one? Oh, yeah, we're, like, we had the call of, like, what we were doing, but then we all, like, in the Uber, we had a great Uber, and their team didn't do anything with it, but then we all split up while they, like, while they didn't, I guess. So we ended up losing two of our combo members separately and independently. And Vanilla Love is not only as a, a um, ringer or a sub for this match, but has also obviously not been in the game for a while and doesn't know the map as much. So, yeah, it's not not even that it's really his fault or or Jared's fault for calling it or, or whoever else. You know, just one of those things that's going to happen here and there. I should have probably said something where, like, we all split up. And I did kind of leave Jared for dry where I'm like... I, in my head, I imagined that we were going to push on the side and keep fighting their combo because the cart was far back and they had, like, they were, like, getting sometimes times one. So if we had, like, the four of our combo and all of their combo fighting, but their flank's not doing anything, that means our flank can also chill protecting the cart. 
So that was just my, my vision, but yeah, again, we had like three separate visions from the guys who can actually do damage. I'm sure, normally I'd fast forward here, but I'm sure I'm about to come right out with, um, oh, I guess with Jarrett and Syath. Hmm. But actually, good positioning. I love my hustle, too. Like, getting, getting deep at every opportunity. Like, kind of, that's what, that's what, um, oh god, what's happening here? Oh, no, I, I remember this. Great thing I paused it here. Uh, anyway... Um, that's why I was doing some talking with, with Casper and some of those guys about, um, Nursey and what made, like, what separates the <laughs> greats from then Nursey, right, is, uh, not, like, obviously Nursey had all those fundamentals down, but then Nursey, like, finds these holes in these areas where she can go above and beyond for her team, get really aggressive, or make a game-changing play of, of, you know, bringing heels in a certain spot, or flashing people in these ways, and and positioning herself so that's kind of what i'm feeling now seeing in this game of like okay when their sniper said i'm all the way in when their combo is not committed like when you know when we when they give us some space when they give us an inch we now take a mile because i'm coming and healing these guys who are in the very front of it it's like even if they want to fight Jarrett, they can't because he's getting so healthy so they have to like stop where they are you know so i'm, I'm liking a lot of what i see with my my positioning and my commitment with these guys my heal order could be a bit better again, especially with, with Boar and, and Zyath. Um, and some of Vanilla Love too, like, obviously I haven't been healing him a lot, but he hasn't been wanting it. He's really good in that way, but so is, so is Kresnik, but, yeah, just stuff to keep in mind. <laughs> now, let's take a look here. I'll, I'll play it in slow motion, because what you're going to see is, I believe, uh, they're made used. And we see they're made right here. So they're made forced on first. We got the, we got the force or the, or the drop or something. So they have no Uber, we have full Uber ad. And their medic is committed. We have no idea why <laughs> that they're here. Like, their medic should have been the farthest one back, right, if they don't have Uber, because we were going to kill them with the Uber. Now what's going to happen is we're calling, like, okay, we have to kill them here with this Uber. What Jarrett wants to do is go through the tunnel. What Syeth wants to do is just chase them right here. So I'm going to play this in slow motion, and we're going to watch this. So right now, Jarrett and Syeth are both looking forward, calling to use forward. I'm still a little bit hurt. And I think I take... No, I don't take fall damage. Now, J uh, Jarrett called to walk in the tunnel. Syath goes forward. And I'm like, well, wait, wait, wait. <laughs> and now I get stabbed anyway. So, like, we got totally disconnected where everyone's yelling, like, Tun Oh, what a shot! <laughs> Damn. Ugh. Thanks, player, by the way, for the, the button to slow play the demo in slow motion. Um, yeah, like... It sucks, because they're like, okay, tunnel, tunnel, tunnel. I'm like, okay, even if they're peeking for a second, they're faster than me, so at least I should get to tunnel so I can catch them. But then it's like, tunnel, like, no, 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 here, here. I'm like, what, here? And by us just delaying for that one second, I got backstabbed. Because if I ran into straight line with Syeth, I won't die, you know? And then we're going to, even if we didn't Uber, right? The spy just couldn't catch up to me, so that sucks. And now we're, like, rolled, too. We're, like, calling for this aggro. Literally nobody's buffed. Players, Vanilla Love just went in with, like, 140 health, like, you know, it's like we're kind of calling for this drive, but we have no health at all. It is kind of worth it still. Like, we do get the medic, which I'm really happy to see. Now I walk towards Syath. Oh, that was... Mm. Yeah, I walk towards Syath, which is great and getting a weird spot for that soldier. Ah, uh, that second scout come. I should have, like, once I survived that first rocket from the soldier, I should have left. That was not a, not a good play for me. It's kind of nitpicking, like, you know, it is tough. Like, a demo, you know, even with Syath, like, he has to now fight off two people. And even with Jarrett now coming, like, it's such close quarters that the demo can't, like, you know, anyone who's played sixes will know that your demo doesn't block you from bombers, right? Trying to heal up Muma because Muma's the one who's going to be able to break this position open. But then, like, Jarrett wants to go in, Scythe wants to go in, but now we're, like, in before the rest of our team is even ready, before the card's here. So, that's funny. I feel like I had the right idea in my head of what who to heal and when, but then 
you know, since Scyth and Jared had a different idea, now Jared's dead and Scyth is hurt. It is fine to lose Jared there, though. Like, the cart was so far back we didn't have river. Like, it's not the end of the world. But just, yeah, again, something to notice. Like, keep in mind with our, our coordination. So now we have. I'm really trying to buff Muma before this. I think Muma. I should be flashing Muma. I don't know why I didn't turn around. Oh, we called to take Zukima in on this as well. So I'm like, I gotta flash him. They were just so good. I really thought he went straight up and was going to come straight down, and I was gonna hit that arrow. <laughs> so when he was like, still in the exact like X Y coordinates, but the Z coordinate was all the way out there. That that was uh, quite unfortunate. Beaming so we can get the Uber as fast as possible. Also wasn't healing great while well, our players were dead. Okay, I'm even gonna beam but No, I tell Vanilla to eat because I have to yeah, I have to fight here. Good call. I was gonna say I could build on on vanilla love and would have had Uber very soon actually. I would have had like 95% by now if I had done that, but now it's transitioned from like, okay, we need to get Uber so we can win the fight to instead let's we need to now win the fight immediately. Oh. Yeah, I forgot the uh they didn't cap last. So yeah, we won on time on third. That was really cool too. Like, yeah, again, like there we saw like, okay, in my head, I'm like, all right, we need to like get this Uber and then we're gonna win this point no problem, but these guys are in, so immediately I changed now I like catch their change in in the plan and i change my approach and mentality to say like okay wait now i need to keep our demo and heavy alive our tank our cart pushers heal the people who are about to go around that corner to take the fights and people who are out of it are too hurt to even come back so just kind of like mo moving on in my head from whatever my idea was and now matching matching theirs and keeping up with the the new calls so honestly really nice stuff like that death on first really fucking sucks and like, I guess it is on me, too, of, of not spy checking more, because the spies, like, you know, for me, walking all the way from spawn to there, the only thing I have to realistically worry about is dying to spy. So, that's a, that's on me for not spy checking more, but it's also the, the you know, just the mix-up of the calls. So it happens. Okay. We can be buffing Scyath first. Like, Scyath is to talk about really needing the beam. Like, there I felt like I should have buffed Boar first, but... Scyath has been talking so much about needing it. Yeah, like, here again, like, okay, we're, like... <laughs> we're pretty hurt. And we just had, like, seven people in Side Tunnel. You know? Like, we called, like, we're pressuring Side Tunnel, and that, that's good, but... In a time when we're trying to Uber, I noticed this is happening a lot, and I think I should talk to the team because, like, if we're trying to Uber through here, like, yeah, if they're dumb, put one stick in there, that stick is going to do 500 damage, and I can't heal that back, right? Like, before this this Uber, we're just going to have to go with everyone being hurt. And even now, like, Scythe is in great health, Boar is in the Uber, Jarrett isn't buffed, uh, Vanilla Love is, like, behind us. He's not going to get flashed, so what are we going to do with him? Oh, never mind, this is full ad, but I think you get what I mean. Like, like if we would have pinched from literally anyone, yeah, like, now if we had, like, pinched hill, like, yeah, great, we sent, like, seven players through here, but now they haven't just lived on the hill for an eternity. Play passive and dropping down the cart. I, I, there's so many times I got caught out dying on hill. Yeah, it, that's, like, a perfect scenario. Oh, we, we called the sniper was watching that, that angle, so I tried not to die to the, um, getting, like, just the top of my head showing over this wall. Yeah, not to push like seven people when we're Ubering somewhere. I was talking, I remember, you know what? That's a great thing now that I'm watching this because we were talking about with Syath is like, how, how are, he is asking me because I dropped him a lot in our scrims for these. He's like, how are you dropping me? Like, what's stopping you? Like, it's, he's, he's asking me like, am I in the wrong spot or, or am I like not getting the right timing or something? And I'm like, yeah, I feel like sometimes Jarrett's like so close to death or you're so close to death or like everyone is so close to death in a really weird spot. And we call the Uber like whenever we're still hurt, right of position, whatever. But yeah, here we notice like if there's seven people, all of them are hurt. And now we're like, I have to just get 
si Jarrett through and find Syath and this huge crowd. I even saw there, I was like healing Demento, our spy. Because I, I couldn't tap Syath when we were all bunched up in that little close quarter. And that happened a lot too when we were pushing last, for example. Like we'd bring our whole combo and part of our flank, all like Syath obviously included, all the way onto the flank to push that like far left side of last. And, and now it's like, well, okay. I don't know. I can't. Like, we all. Oh, we just took two pipes. Our heavy's like 110 health. Our pyro's out and backing up. Like, our demo is so hurt. Our scout's hurt. And I, you guys are juggled now because everyone's dodging spam. We're, we're like delaying now because we're so hurt. So, I'll, I'll keep that in mind. I'll say, like, in a lot of our Ubers, we need to. If we're planning the Uber ahead of time, like this, where we're like, we were taking Jarrett and Syath, maybe one other person through side tunnel. So, everyone pressure clear our tunnel, and then the us are going. It needs to be just us going, and not the whole team, and then suddenly everyone else leave because we're owned in the post. So glad I put those pieces together, because with all the comms going on and all these new players, I don't really know. It, it's hard to, you know, it's hard to, like, figure out the exact, like, ah, this is what needs to be done now. Because in the game, I'm like, you know, Syath, I feel like it could be easier for me to get you. Or like, hey, everyone, I noticed we're kind of too hurt before these Ubers. And then we bleed people or we lose the post. So, like, so now by seeing this, it's super clear to address with the team. And now, like, I know in my head what to prepare for so that we can avoid the situations in the future. Excuse my quarantine hair. I love that late buff on Vanilla Love, who's about to go flank. Because, like, if he... A heavy coming up flank is unbelievably good, but him coming up at freaking 450, like, look at his buff still. That's amazing. Taking his time over here a little bit, but amazing flash onto Muma. Man, if I hit a single one of those arrows, that would have been so good. Yeah, I kind of felt like, again, maybe, like... Too many people came in or at not the right time. Syath said, come into house, come to house. I'm like, I don't know, man. A <laughs> soldier just killed Boar from there. Uh, but, you know, again, it's fine. He was trying to protect me, obviously. And the soldier had a hit sick shot. So, whatever. But Yeah, I think, like, too many people were in. Like, we had, like, three or four people in that Uber. Like, even Vanilla Love was, like, a late entry to that by climbing up drop down. And it's, like, by losing Jarrett and... Uh, losing Jared and Moomer at the same time. Vanilla's not really in. We dropped one or two more in that thing, so now our post is just... Yeah, like, if one... If, like, literally one person got out of that Uber sooner, then we would have been okay, I think. Like, we might have won it. I was too far forward there. I don't know why I was. Like I, I don't know. I felt like their their combo would have been farther back. Great milk onto Jarrett, where like he wasn't really ready to use, so I didn't like go against his call and force him. But then I, th I think he even said like, "All right, let's use." So that was very like calm and, and trusting my team. Getting the crit buff onto uh, Boar. Yeah, you know, Scythe would have gotten him the other way. Now, like, Vanilla Love has crit heals, but Jarrett's taking the fight. So now, finally, once Jarrett backs up out of the fight and I see him reloading, standing still, I know I, now I can take the beam off him. But that's something talking about finding out my teammates' rhythms and getting chemistry with the, with the new demo man. So I'm glad to see, like, already, you know, learning. Beaming boar, we need to build Uber as fast as possible and, you know, make it so he doesn't die to spam. That was another time where, like, alright, we need a lot of buffs, everyone's hurt, but we're, like, kind of already moving. This, I guess, is, like, literally the perfect time, but yeah, like, like, Tsukima's in on this, Scythe is in on this. Those guys are not out of this. Oh, wait, this Uber is sick. That's not that good. I mean, they do stay pretty alive. Demento nails it with the timing on the sap. Wow. And Jarrett stays perfectly healthy. Oh. I'm so happy with that Uber. Wow. Two players alive. Look at that. We lost a little, just Muma. This couldn't have gone better. That was amazing. Like, Jarrett, like, seeing that he was out of the Uber, staying perfectly healthy and alive. He had crit heals. 
And, like, after, like, we were fighting them out from our perspective, right? From the left, like, on the flank. And then Jarrett goes and rotates towards Strax, right? So, amazing uh, to have that kind of wherewithal. Like, once they're back in that way, then he kind of pinches them. Destroys them. Really great job out of these guys. And now me staying between the doors is such a good spot as Medic because when you're forward holding like that, they have to come out of left or right. So, and like fight whoever's there. So like they're going to come out left and see, the, uh, well, they're going to come out their left and see Jarrett. They're going to come out their right and see Saya. So as soon as one of those guys starts taking damage, walk towards the other one. That's like, you know, that's like sort of one of those, like we're talking about like those nursery opportunities to be like, hey, I shouldn't be the farthest one forward out of my whole team like with these guys, right? But... There I know, like, I have a perfect plan where nothing bad could ever happen to me because it'll immediately be shown which place is safe and which place is not. So I really, uh, that's exactly what we're looking for. Of, like, unlocking, like, that last level of medic gameplay. Mission begins in 30 seconds. That's what I'm here for. Trying to, you know, get this trial by fire and really push myself. <laughs> Scyth was whining and complaining about having to walk me back, even though, fuck else are you going to do during this time? And then, uh, I give, a, give it back to him. I'm like, so which way is the door again? Scyth, I don't, I don't know which way to go. I should have given late buffs to our players in the front. I, I gave the last buffs to our players in the back here. That's not the right order. Like, I could have saved Scythe if I buffed him at the right time. Now, we just took so much damage, I'm like, I, I don't... And we lost Saya to move us out of that spot. I'm like, I, I don't... There's no way. Especially because they had that crazy flank play last time, right? It's like... And, and we called her on the flank, obviously, as you saw who was at the Demar Pyro. I'm kind of playing a little, like, forward for my liking. And now, yeah, we lost Boar, we lost Akima. It's like, this is this is lost. Nice shots from Jarrett. Saves, sacrifices himself to save me. This is someone was asking for an arrow here. This normal is inadvisable to be this deep. Oh, but now we call the medic is so committed, and we're like, let's take it into them and get really aggressive, because we could force them. So this is something to whoa, action shot. Let's keep this in mind, right? There we go. So what they want to do. In this, so like, yeah, we have to like weigh up, like, what do they want to do versus what we want to do? It's like, what they want to do is push us back, get the card all the way up, then take the exchange on us with us on hill or like for the hill, so that they can finish the cap and and get this point right. So, for us to stop that is Syath sees like you can even see me. I'm like, oh, it's time to leave. We gotta go. But Syath's like, no, no, no. Like their medic is right here. We're gonna force them or drop them. Probably force them right now. And then with the speed boost, we can get me out and the rest of our team is at least committed enough, right? So since what they want to do is take the Uber on hill, if we make them take the Uber here, even if they get a pick or two, it's like the cart's so far back and my team has so much time to set up on hill and I'm still going to get out with at least even Ubers. So really amazing call, right? Like again, I had the idea to just back up, but Syath sees and immediately makes that snap decision, which I immediately commit to as well to just go and kill the medic. So... Fantastic play. Whoop. Fantastic play out of out of Syath, and I'm glad to see that I was able to, to like catch it right away and commit to it. Cause see now like we're out and healthy. Healing our pyro for the post. I'm taking a bit of damage so we back. And now we're even getting kinda greedy because it's like the demo their a lot of their combos are dead and we're still in. Like watching on the cart. So Maybe against a different team or like with a different set of picks or something, they would have they should have been able to push us back, but that's what we're talking about, right? Like, give us an inch and we're going to take a mile. Like, you know what? I'm, if all eight of our players are staying, then I have to stay. I should stay. And then now we called, like, hey, what? let's try and hold, like, recommit to first. Let's see if we can hold them on first. Now the situation's reset. The only thing is I don't have an Uber. So, my mil that just <laughs> it's just basically guaranteed milking, right? If anyone tries to bomb me. I would have, I, I should have really uh, healed Scratchy a lot more, our engineer. In a lot of these times, like I know, like Aaron kind of on MCM last season would like, I don't know, it, with his calls and like with where he stood, I just kind of like 
felt like he was around me more and then would just keep him buffed because again one of these like yeah here a scratchy just gets headshot we like m prob we might even just lose second off it you know so uh just keeping scratchy more buffed is something i'll have to keep in mind it's even like every so often like i don't even mean keeping him fully healed but like if i had given him let's say five more crit heal taps then ah uh, interesting <laughs> If I had given him, like, five more crit heal taps in this whole match, I would have been very happy. Ten more would have been great, like, I would say expected, but five would be easily done, you know? So that's why it's like, I have no excuse to not be healing him more. That's hilarious. So you saw it first in that Uber. You might have to rewind in the in the video, but I don't want to go back now. But I was trying to, like, walk right at their pyro to bait that pyro into airblasting me instead of Scyath. They don't take the bait, so they airblast Scyath instead, and I'm trying to leave, and I'm like, well, they're kind of, like, still spamming us and juggling Scyath on the hill. I don't want to take the same damage, and I know my team is actually even closer if I go this way. But Jarrett, like, called this whole time, or someone called Tsukima. I don't know, was calling, like, Heavy's, Heavy's in the corner, Heavy's, like, behind you, watching in between, like, you and Trax. And then I immediately leave and give the Heavy a little peck on the cheek on my way out. I still do make it out in time, so it's still fine, but it was hilarious. I was like, no, what are you doing? But, like, I probably thought my Uber was fading. But that's why, like, I had in my head, like, alright, I need to leave with this much time in advance. Especially given my speed boots with Scyath. But I even gave myself so much time to leave. Like, we got in, did what we had to do, we got that the force off, right? So, I gave myself so much time, I was even able to leave with no speed boost in a different route. Because, by the time I was, like, 60%, I decided, like, okay, we got the force, we did what we had to do, nothing else is required of me. How am I, when and how am I going to leave? And then at 50%, 40%, I start leaving. It was great. And now we're, like, calling, like, the aggro thing again. This is just chaos, honestly. I mean, there's only three minutes left, and they don't have an Uber, neither do we. But we're like, let's get our flankers really deep and close. Giving crit heals to the front guys. Now I'm just like, I'm in this, I'm in a weird sight line, and like... Yeah, right, I'm like, I want to go forward and heal my team, I want to go back and stay alive. Oh yeah, we called, yeah, this is great. Um... Yeah, you can see I didn't want to use there, but then Syeth and Muma both had the call, like, we could just collapse their mid right now. Great hustle out of those guys. Yeah, now it's just kind of... Oh, no, there's two minutes left. Yeah, now we're just kind of getting greedy. Like, I shouldn't be this far forward. I mean, they, oh, they are down soldier and sniper, actually. So, yeah, this is another one of those times, like, constantly checking this thing at the top. Like, oh, down soldier sniper. I can't really get bombed except by the demo. Uh, who needs to be fighting our demo? Uh, and I can't get sniped. So, it's like, what's going to kill me? The spy, which I'm not spy checking for? Oh, God. Well, I'm, I haven't spy checked in, like, a while. This is not so good. We also have these right here with me. Oh, ha, I remember, I'm like, I should not have forced there, what the fuck was that? But, like, that was very out of character, it felt like, watching back, but now I remember that we called, we have to hold them on first, let's hold them on first. So that's why I use the Uber, and now die for it. <sighs> they got it. Hmm. I think I fuck up and open the door. I remember. After complaining all season and all last season about opening the door, I immediately open the door. It's hilarious that I don't die. I wake up with not enough time to get an Uber charge. I'm like trying to get the resupply cabinet so bad. Oh! <laughs> the door closes. Science like, let's go in, go in. We have the quick fix of meds right here. Let's kill everything. And I'm like, all right, let's go. And then, bam, door closed. God damn it. <laughs> It's like literally perfect timing. I'm like, wow, th this resupply cabinet is giving me health. And like the second I walk away from it, door closes. Yeah, this is just for fun. All right. So honestly, I mean, all things considered, we didn't really get tested so much in, in this, right? But 
the oh we and if anything we only like really lost to ourselves in a lot of these right where i'm like well what like we took like some weird ubers or like oh we didn't have like a good call of like where we were going what we were doing like like me dropping on on first or like getting forced and stuff and and some of those little misplays were like stuff that we can work on and now that i've watched this demo i'm very much more cognizant of and like have a deeper understanding of i think so yeah we talked a lot in the after the first half about about uh heal order about getting healthy before the uber not taking 10 plays in the uber how to better manage Syeth and jarrett in the uber we talked about my chemistry with jarrett of like i know now a bit better when to give him the beam versus not so i can give it to people like Bor and Syeth and uh what else our commits were so good, and when I'm really just trusting Syath, especially, sometimes maybe even over Jarrett, like if they make different calls, maybe I should even pick Syath actually because he's the one like in these things that's going to force the med. As we saw with the Uber, where it was like me and Jarrett only into their med, and even Demento with the revolver with us couldn't, like we all three of us couldn't force the med or kill the med. So, learning a lot about how to play better with Syath. Um, yeah, I love the positioning. A lot of these snap decisions. Very conscious of what threats are active at any given moment by checking the scoreboard. Like when sniper is dead, when soldier is dead, I know I can't get sniped, I can't get stabbed, I can't get bombed. So playing differently based on those situations. All in all, I'm, I'm actually really happy because in the moment it feels like a lot of chaos and super hectic. But, you know, this is uh, for the, the number of weeks we got to scrim before this season, not too shabby. Not too shabby for a debut on Kids Next Door. All right. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it as much as I did.